Alright guys, welcome to a very sunny wintry day in Belgium. It's been like this for the past few weeks. So now since I received the latest update, um, let's see what update 2018.6.1 will do for autopilot. Okay, so the first part is coming up, that's the bridge. Let's see, there's no car in front of me, so it cannot track any car. Let's see if there's any improvement on that front. So, accelerating to 70. And wondering what we'll see at the top of the hill. Yeah, that's, that's a bit better. It's still moving to the side, but it's better. Same behavior at the bottom here. So not that much of a change there, but the top part definitely felt less aggressive on the move. So let's see what this one does. Sometimes it reacts here as well. Yep. See him is ever so slightly and then it goes back again. So maybe a slight improvement, but nothing more than that. Now we're coming up to that second section where it loses the lines because of the intersection and then it slightly veers to the left. Let's see how it handles it with this update. No movement whatsoever. That's definitely an improvement. Um, yeah, so that's, that's good to see that the alternating left or right side disappearing reappearing that that has less of an effect on the current update so yeah okay i'm happy with that okay so this is the section where i would very much like to let the car do its thing um, it's going to be possible if this guy is in front of me so i'm going to slow down a bit leave enough room there's no traffic behind me right now but that right and left corner last time that uh, i did this the car actually was able to slow down by itself and just uh, keep it to uh, more or less within the lines now let's see what it does now hopefully there's no oncoming traffic and i can let it do what it wants to do hands on steering wheel of course and let's see. Oh, there's a car, there's a car, there's a car. Nope, I had to intervene. So it went off the track too much. Let's see what the other turn does. Yeah, it slows down again. So, and this one, yep, yeah, it still goes to the uh, outside of the bend or curve. Um, but it slows down if it sees that it can't make it. So that's still the same so if I would have let it go uh, and there was no oncoming traffic then that would have given the same results as I did with the last time I tested it so unfortunately no improvements there in the sense that it keeps itself better within the lines in the sharper turns but hey um, you can't have it all at once of course oh there's a roadster so you don't see uh, many of those uh, in Belgium, but that is a Tesla Roadster that we're seeing there, the beautiful white one. Cool. So this is where the quick left-right is going. There's no oncoming traffic, so I can let the car do its thing. Going 70, let's see what it does. Yep. It needs to correct for a uh, second time, but it stayed within the lines, actually. So, yep, as of the last update, that is definitely an improvement that I'm quite happy with. So, we didn't get a chance to test it at the previous traffic light, but maybe this traffic light, this upcoming traffic light, is red. And the cars are stopping 
So we have a stopped car now. We're even coming from a bend. Let's see how it reacts. And it starts braking right now already. And it's actually gently braking, um, which is uh, comfortable. So yeah, maybe even a slight improvement over the last one. However, I think it still takes too much space between uh, the cars when coming to a complete standstill. I'm using the uh, traffic aware cruise control at uh, a number three setting, which I feel is the most comfortable overall. Usually I switch between three or four. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was nice. Okay, so what do I think about this update? Well, um, I think there are a few small improvements, um, but they're good improvements, like more stability when we lost the alternating left and right side of the road. So that was uh, a bit of an improvement. And I also feel that in view of the previous updates, it's a lot more confident at stopping before stop traffic even as you saw when you're coming up in a bend what i'm really looking forward to is the promised update apparently there's a beta going around that would use enhanced neural net we would see additional cars in the adjacent lanes like autopilot one is doing um, so yeah looking forward to that and then of course with the neural net being in place we should see some fairly good improvements uh, coming quickly so yeah make sure to uh, subscribe there at the bottom um, to make sure that you're updated on when I release that video because I'll sure be making a lot of thorough test videos about that one if that one is uh, finally coming out I don't know when that's going to be um, I think it should be before summer definitely maybe next month even um, only Tesla knows when they release the new one, but yeah, looking forward to that. But again, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.